now we're driving through Keokuk, Iowa. We're going to attempt to reach the southeasternmost point in the state of Iowa. <laughs> well, the southernmost point hasn't gone well, and the confluence of the Des Moines and Mississippi rivers hasn't gone well. So, we'll see how this goes. Keokuk is a cool old town. Like many river towns in Iowa and other parts of the Midwest. Turn and, right onto Exchange Street. And like many of these older towns, uh, the population has been in decline. The Turn right onto Main Street. Which is it? Exchange or Main? Make up your mind. Main sounds better. Like many of these older towns, the population has been in decline for a while. I looked on Wikipedia this morning. The town reached its heyday in terms of population somewhere around 15,000 in the 1960s. As of the most recent census, the population's 10,000. So, population's dropped by about a third in the last 40 to 50 years. Beautiful in downtown. Half a mile, turn right onto South First Street. Looks like a parade could break out at any moment. It's kind of got that every mid-sized town in Iowa look to it. Like the first half of the 1900s look. Where am I supposed to turn right? I think I gotta turn right before I get to the river bridge, that's for sure. It says turn right at 1st Street. That's literally not possible map, so I'm gonna do this. Turn left onto Johnson Street. Okay. In a quarter mile, the destination is on your left. 1 to 399 Johnson Street. There is a guy on a horse up there. The question is, can I get across those railroad tracks? Because right now it looks like there's a train just parked there. As you can see, I'm kind of under the bridge. There's a neat looking church. There's a river boat up here too. Looks like it says the Grow Verret, G O M Verret. It's hard to read. Oh. There's the Keokuk Union Depot and Event Center. You can rent that out for events. Doesn't look like it's open right now. There's someone coming up behind me, so I can't linger. The destination is on your left, 1 to 399 Johnson Street. I like that church, but I have no idea what Make a church it is. Make a U-turn and proceed to the route. Well, for Pete's sake here, Mr. Mrs. Direction Giver. Yeah. Obviously, the destination was an estimate. No trains coming, okay. So I can get a little closer here. Okay, so this ship is called the G.O.M. Verity, probably abbreviation for George. The George M. Verity. Oh, 
dog. some very steep streets. This is Lucas Avenue to get up to the bridge entrance. Mm, come on car. This feels like about a 30 degree angle here. Arr. There we go. Okay. Whew. That was an ordeal. Well, I got a green light. Taking a left on Main Street. Which takes me across the river to Illinois. The land of Lincoln, straight ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Illinois State Line. Whoa. Look at the dam over there. I'm guessing that generates electricity. It's a hydroelectric. Well, now the railroad bridge is in the way. But yeah, woo! Looky there. And when I make my return trip, I'll try to show you the locks. We're now in Illinois. And I'm going to find the first gas station and turn around here in just a few seconds. Here's a sign welcoming us to Illinois. Sign says Pat's Pit Stop. Which is it? All right. So this is Hamilton, Illinois. And we're about to cross back into Iowa here. Here we go. Stopped at Pat's Pit Stop and picked up a bottle of water and a Milky Way candy bar. The water is a Clarbrune brand water, which I've had before. And I just assume it's German, therefore I pronounce it Clarbrune. The more you put in it, the better. Would you like a clarberine? Although that really sounded Scottish more than German, didn't it? Oh well. I feel like this Milky Way's been on the shelf for a while. I've had some that are a lot better. It expires in March, which is five months from now. So it's not expired, but I bet it was made at least six months ago. All right, we're gonna go across the bridge that crosses us back into Iowa here. Keokuk, Iowa, Lee County, Iowa.
All right, now we're over the river. I'll point the camera out the window here and try to get you a better view of the lock and dam over there. We've got to get a little higher so we can see over this railroad bridge, but over there where it says Keokuk Plant, I assume that means it's a hydroelectric generating plant. And uh, there is the lock. There's a dry lock. I wonder if they're not using it right now. Well, they have to keep it open. There's just too much barge traffic. So, back to my normal position here. Coming back into Keokuk. That church over there by the southeasternmost point is the United Presbyterian Church. I was trying to figure that out earlier. All right, so we're just gonna stay straight right here on whatever this highway is. I don't even know the highway number. Actually, I need to. I need to hook up my GPS here. Not that I have to have it, don't get me wrong. I was thinking about going to a place called Rand Park. Which is like the supposed burial place of Chief, Chief Keokuk. I'm not sure why they say supposed. You would think he's either buried there or not, but uh, starting route to Rand Park. Maybe they don't know. Head northwest. Head northwest. Guess she changed her mind. I like cool looking main streets like this. Small towns, not like the tiny towns, but the mid sized towns, I guess you'd say. Population of somewhere between five and twenty five thousand tend to have this look. This guy in front of me is driving really slow, so let's get around him. Of course, he has some stuff in the back of this truck, maybe he doesn't want it to blow out commendable. I hope all the cars in front of me are going straight or else this was a pointless exercise. sign it says yard sale well hey if you're gonna advertise your yard sale might as well do it in person all right the whole getting in the left left lane thing yielded zero results so back to the right lane turn right onto north 13th street okie daby In half a mile, turn left onto Orleans Avenue. Orleans? We pronounce it Narlands. So I suppose without the new, it would just be Orleans, not Orleans. Street, crossing over what appears to be High Street. A little bump in the 
the road. Guy over here has got two different little, three different little pieces of construction equipment. Uh-oh, septic line problem. Or sewer line. Crossing over Franklin Street. I'm driving. Turn left onto Orleans Avenue, then turn right onto Parkview Heights. I'm driving a Volkswagen Jetta, and it's very fuel efficient, but I don't like it. It has that autumn. My camera shut off for a while, I think by accident, so I'm not sure how much I was just commenting into the air. But I'm at Rand Park, and I'm driving to a gazebo-type structure, just kind of guessing that it's the grave of Chief Keokuk. The weird thing is I'm having one of these deja vu moments because I remember having a dream where I felt like I drove up to a gazebo in a park, but that dream was like several months ago. Okay, that's a firefighter monument. I can't tell if that gazebo is on private property or not. There's a lot of weird things around. Got to turn around in a very narrow spot without hitting other people's cars. Right up there. See that gazebo? That looks kind of modernish, though. I saw something out of the corner of my eye up and to the right that looked very monumenty. I'm going to go check that out. Oh, that's got to be it up ahead. If that's not a monument to a dead Indian chief, then I don't know what is. Why is it that the only other people who like the stuff that I like are old people? Ho, 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 ho. This is it. It's got to be it. I would stake my reputation as a guy with a little teeny tiny YouTube channel on it. All 20 of my subscribers. <laughs> All right. All done with the Rand Park visit. I saw the statue of Chief Keokuk and his alleged grave. I saw the Charles Bice Gazebo. Bryce, Chuck, whatever his name was. I saw the gazebo that he built upon his death. I guess he didn't build it upon his death. He probably, you know, wanted it to be built upon his death and left money for it to be built. Siri's going to get mad at me here. Mile, turn right onto Main Street. Because I'm turning right now. Ha uh -uh. I'm going to take a slightly different route. In half a mile, turn right onto Plank Road. Okay. So I want to get home to watch the Cyclone football game with Ben and Joe, my two boys, today. Today is October 12th, 2019. Cyclones are playing West Virginia at West Virginia. University of Iowa, don't care about the game, but I'll get where I'm going in just a second. The Hawkeyes are playing Penn State in Iowa City. Now, normally, the route I would take home 
I would go straight north on, I believe it's 218 from Keokuk up through Mount Pleasant to Iowa City and then head west to Des Moines. But that place is going to be a traffic nightmare because I think there's a Hawkeye home game for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa City is the home of the University of Iowa for those of you who are out of state and watching this video. So I don't care about that game, but I want to see the Iowa State Cyclone game in Morgantown, West Virginia on my television in central Iowa, the Des Moines area. And that game starts... Turn right onto Plank Road. That game starts in two and a half hours. And the GPS says it takes three hours to get home. And because of the Hawkeye home game, I need to avoid the Iowa City area. So... In one mile, turn right onto Main Street. I'm going to book it to get home here, or I won't make it, and I'm going to go up uh, past Washington, Iowa. I've got my good old-fashioned map here, too, and uh, take Highway 92, and then a little road up through Watchier, Highway 21 north, the interstate, and I'll get on there. That squares it off nicely. So that's my plan for getting home. But we're still in Keokuk, Iowa right now. So you're driving with Dugras in the lovely city of Keokuk, Iowa on an absolutely beautiful fall day, October 12th, 2019, 1227 p.m. Central Time. And I'm on Plank Road. Keokuk, Iowa. Looks like I'm about to drive past a school here. Ah, it's KCS St. Vincent's Catholic School. I didn't know there was a Catholic school in Keokuk. Not that I'm surprised, Catholic schools are all over the place. I saw a sign earlier down in the far southern part of town for the Christian school, which presumably is either Protestant or non-denominational. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Main Street. Okay. actually very close to the Hampton Inn I stayed at last night, just up the road from it. If you hear a little thumping noise, that's me drumming on the steering wheel with my Turn fingers. Turn right onto Main Street. Okay. Main Street is also Highway 218 and Highway 61 running together. Well, in 6.9 miles, turn left onto Highway 218. It's Highway 61 business route is what it looks like to me. So 6.9 miles to get out of town. I don't know that that's where the city limits are, but... Hey, look at this wooden wall on the right. This is probably a sound barrier, but it makes it look like they erected a fort here in 1874 or something like that. Could have stayed at the budget inn on the left. Motel. Now open. New rooms. Yeah, I'm poking fun out a little bit, but really, our country needs low end motels too. So, best of wishes to the budget motel. Or budget inn, whichever it was called.
don't even know what the speed limit is here. I'm going 45. And the guy behind me seems cool with that. There's a little bit of my candy bar left from Pat's Pit Stop over in Illinois. Well, now he decided to pass me. Oh, there's a sign, 55. Let's increase speed a little bit here. I just passed a sign, it's hard to see. It looks like it's from the 60s or 70s. It said, Happy, Happy Homes. Which is funny because my father-in-law would sing to his children many years ago, including my wife, when she was a little girl, a song called Happy, Happy Home. Mommy in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home, happy, happy home. Mommy in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. It may not have been that exact tune, but it was pretty close. Which I always thought was funny because having watched reruns of Hogan's Heroes, the theme song is almost exactly the same. So I wonder if Dad subconsciously sang the Hogan Heroes theme song. I might not be singing that exactly right, but something along those lines. Anyway, apparently someone here many years ago put up a sign that said, Happy, Happy Homes, this way. I wonder if it was a new development on the outskirt of town or if that was the name of the company. Happy, Happy Homes. Funny. I also saw a sign for someone selling tomatoes. Oh, now this would be 65. Awesome. I always wonder people that sell tomatoes or eggs or anything like that out of their home. And put a sign in the yard. How do you handle that? I mean, some people probably know them, but if you're just like, oh man, driving down the road, I could use some tomatoes or some eggs, do you just like go pull in their driveway and just kind of get out of your car and stand awkwardly hoping they're looking out the window or like, hey, you here for the tomatoes? Or do you just go ring the doorbell and you're like, uh, are you the lady that sells tomatoes? And she's like, yes I am. How many do you want? Come on in. It probably is like that now that I think about it. Maybe I should I should do that sometime. I should get like a body cam or a hidden camera and just like go to every place I can find that's selling things like tomatoes, eggs, plants, walnuts, and just do a series on like buying stuff from people out of their homes based on signs along the road. There's actually one not too far from where we live in Polk County, Iowa that sells plants and like twice a year she'll put them out like in her yard just like you would go to Earl May or something and buy plants but I think she sells them at other times just doesn't have them outside so yeah like Ding dong. Hello. Yeah, you got any hostas? Oh, yes, I sure do. Come on in. Do you, t 
take MasterCard, American Express, Visa? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Let me get my point of sale machine. Wouldn't that be funny? I got some sweet rewards here. Maybe it would be coded as travel, so like I could get 3x on my points. Or if I use my American Express Blue Cash Preferred, maybe it would code as groceries. In half a mile, turn left onto Highway 218. Okay. Well, this turn marks the unofficial leaving of Keokuk. I think we left the city limits eight miles ago, but in my mind, that's what it Turn marks. Left onto Highway 218. So I'm going to take the diagonal road up here to Donaldson and uh, call it good. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe to my channel. And please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to make a suggestion as to what video I should make for the Driving with Dugras series, please add a comment to this video. Thanks.